So about three years ago, back in June 2020, unemployment rate was 11%, and a lot more people were either underemployed or they had their hours cut because of the pandemic stuff. In the meantime, I'm working a full-time job. I have this successful side hustle, which is making me a lot of money. So I felt a real responsibility to start sharing that, and that's what I did. I started a, a YouTube, or sorry, I started a, a TikTok channel, and I showed you, I've created over a thousand videos showing you exactly me going out to thrift stores, going to garage sales. All right, so we're having issues with the TikTok live stream, so we're just gonna switch back to good old fashioned recording. So sorry if you were on the TikTok live and you got kicked out. I'm not sure what happened with that, but we're thrifting, we're gonna make money. So typically what happens at this store is I find between 20 and 25 would be good solid average at this store. This would be a good find here, but it's just not in good condition. So we're gonna hope for maybe 25 plus today. Feeling good, feeling positive. Typically we average $19 profit per item on these items. And usually my selling price for these items would be somewhere around $35 average. You'll see a lot of items that I'll pull that'll make between 12 and $15 profit. That'll be, that's what we consider bread and butter. That'll be a lot of the stuff, but hopefully we find some some big hits, some things that get us more like $45, $50 sale price, and maybe one or two that gets us around $100 sale price. And that would pull up our average. So we're off and running. Gonna try to keep some pace up today too. Did a nice quick one last week. This is your first time joining. I typically stream these live on TikTok. And then I'll put the recordings up on YouTube. But we lost yeah. connection with TikTok for some reason. My service seemed like it was good. I, I just don't know if it's TikTok or what's going on, but we're gonna make a lemonade and keep on rolling anyway. Just gotta record this thing. We'll put it up on YouTube. So greetings to you on YouTube. Just passed 900 subscribers this past week. So thanks to everybody who's subscribed. And if you haven't subscribed, we'd love to have you on board. over to some long sleeve shirts. Here's one I like to pick up. So this isn't just your typical Ralph Lauren. This is the Ralph Lauren big shirt. Good model to look for. It's a very relaxed fit model. This looks like it's in good shape. Nice plaid pattern. It's a size large, but this will fit more like a 2X. So that does pretty good for me. We'll go throw that in the cart. Those typically sell for mid 20s plus shipping for me. Right behind it, we got a Carhartt. That looks like a women's Carhartt, size large. Flannel, plaid. That. Nothing crazy there, maybe like 20 bucks on that. Here's a Tommy, we're gonna pass on that. Here's an Eddie Bauer Travex. This is one of the better lines of Eddie Bauer. Eddie Bauer is a mediocre brand, but the Travex is one of the better lines for, for Eddie Bauer but this one's just not in great condition, so we're gonna pass on it. That'd probably be a $20 item, $18.20 if it was in good condition. Look at that, like a mock-up of the Patagonia logo. Rangers. Never know what you're gonna find at the thrift store. Hopefully we find some good money. Let me know down below if I come across a brand that's new to you, if you learned something. That's what these videos are all about, so passed on this last week too it's all stained up Brooks Brothers probably see a lot of things that we saw last week too this is a good busy store 
They do good volume here and they're well staffed and always stocking. Those are things that we like. That LL Bean we passed on last week too. Had a stain or something, I forget. That Killington sweatshirt. There's no no value here, just kind of cool to see. Some uh, Vermont stuff down here in Asheville, North Carolina. If this video does go dark, like there's no sound, there's one of two things going on. One, it could be a, uh, the music in the background could be copyrighted by YouTube. So therefore that will mute that part of the video. Or I could just have a bunch of people around me and out of respect, I'll just quiet up. What we got on the floor here? Oh, that brand, Redberry. Kind of a slowish start. We could use just a little hot section of a rack to turn things around. Just a couple of good finds. It's a 2XL Ralph Warren. It's just not in the sharpest shape and it's a really plain item. I'm gonna pass on that. I do like 2XL Ralphs, but there's a Duluth, same thing. It's just kind of like, it shows its wear. It's a borderline brand anyway. I like it in big sizes. I do like them in flannels. That's just kind of worn out. With items like that, you either list them and really disclose like the, the condition well, like that they're worn and faded and therefore have to lower the price or expect a lower offer. Or you don't mention that thing, that stuff about the condition you sell it and it gets returned, which is not what we're looking for. I pick up some of these life is goods, log on, like a little V-neck. I think I'm gonna pass on that. Probably like a $15 item there. They're just so widely available at this point in time. Sissy boy, I've never heard of that. Hope everyone's having a good Tuesday. This is recorded on April the 4th, which is a Tuesday. So what do they got these facing the wrong way? Or so you just put them in wrong. My cadence for these has been putting these videos up once a week. Sometimes twice. Here's an Orvis, it's an okay brand. It's a size XL, which is a good size. This is just a cotton crew neck shirt. Uh, I don't know, I think I'm gonna pass on that. That's borderline. Might be an 18 to $20 item. I do pick up a lot of Orvis. Looking for the big sizes, heavy pieces, unique pieces. A lot of like the polyester, like wicking kind of shirts is what people look for in like those outdoor brands. Flannels do good, jackets do good, shirt jackets do great. What kind of slim picking right now? Almost like this has been picked over by someone who knew what they were doing. the worst there's like man that's where that's usually the big home runs that i find here in this section but if this is all they have i'll be really disappointed maybe we'll still get a hit i think this is a borderline brand in madison Total 
whole bummer. I hopefully they have another section of bulls. Cause that's that's like 10% of what they typically would have for for blazers. Oh, that's a bummer. Some ratty Levi's. We'll pass on those. Go through here. We're looking for in the pants section. We're looking for jeans. We're definitely looking for corduroy wool pants, like hiking pants. Here's a pair of AGs. Kind of an interesting color. Coarse stand up. Those stains might come out. But in my experience, stains come in packs. So we'll see some here. We'll be like, oh, I can get those out and then we'll get them home. And they will. They'll find other stains that don't come out. I'm gonna go ahead and pass on those. That is a good label to look for though. Bummer on that. Sometimes that's the way it goes. Jeez. Wraps are a little loose today. Not so much stuff. A lot of empty hangers too, which tells me that maybe they're understaffed this week because they haven't been having people go through and clear out those empty hangers. This might be a hit. These corduroy pants, Polo Ralph Warren, it's got to come down to condition. Yeah, the condition's not good. Pretty faded out. I'm gonna go ahead and pass on those. I do like picking up these Polo Ralph Warren. Uh, corduroy is typically like 30 to 35 dollars plus shipping on those but we need better condition conditions getting us today A pair of royal robins that's an okay outdoor brand in terms of resale value it is expensive brand new. A pair of khakis. I don't know that I've ever bought or sold Royal Robins of khakis. And these ones aren't going to be the first ones because they're stained. So we'll pass on those. Bummer. Some corduroys. Not good brands. Not good brands. Oh, shoot. Backs are pretty loose today. Here we go. Pick up a lot of these. Polo Ralph Warren. Khakis. Bigger sizes do best in these. We'll check the size. The size tag on these is on the inside of the fly. So what do we got? 3430. Uh, kind of more on the smaller end of sizes. A little bit of heel drag on those. Yeah, a little bit more there. I'm gonna pass on those. Small size plus some heel drag, I'm good on those. Typically, they'll sell for 25 plus shipping in good condition. Jeans, I'm a little bit more willing to have like distressing and stuff. There's another good band, Prana, Prana, but those are blown out. It's an older Prana tag, I think, too. But yeah, khakis, people aren't really looking for like distressed as much as they are in jeans. So I have a little bit more higher threshold for like wear on jeans. Slazinger is a mediocre golf brand. These do look like they're a smaller size, which makes it a little bit more borderline. I don't know about these. This looks like a pair of women's pants, women's eight. I'm gonna look these up. So I, I'm gonna look those up. So you might see up on the screen either a sold comp for if I'm going to pick them up or you'll see uh, some details about me passing on it instead. I'll look those up. Bonobos. These used to be a good seller, the Bonobos pants. Not so much the shirts, but the pants do okay. I haven't bought or sold a pair in a long time, so I'm going to have to look these up too. You'll see a sale, sold comp up on the screen. Size 33, 32. There's the model. I'll have to comp those. I think that might be a brand that's gone downhill over the years in terms of resale value. Crap. Mm -hmm. 
pair of these Polo Ralph Foreign khakis. Another pair that have the uh, a lot of heel drag, so we'll pass on those. If those were jeans, the heel drag doesn't matter so much. Our khakis are a tougher set. Oh, here we go, some Mavi jeans. This is a good brand. There you go. But we see all kinds of wear. Whole for the belt loop was good size too, 40, 32. But I think with uh, there's good wearing on jeans and there's not so good. Like the belt loops ripped off is not super ideal. So I think we're gonna pass on those. Good brand to look out for, Mavi jeans. I don't find those very often. Pair of Levi's. 3832, it's a good size. It's a strange tag and they're on the ground. There's an apple on the ground, cool. <laughs> All right. So modern Levi's tags here. Just giving the tags a second look because it's an unusual tag. 38, 32, these look like they were made in 2012. That's an interesting Levi's tag. 38 by 32, 514s. Nice big size, good condition on these. I'm gonna look over everything when I have two hands free. You're in one hand, so. But after I go off camera, I'll look everything over. But these look pretty good. This must be like one of those kind of like retro models that they came out with. Look at the pocket, it's got a pocket like that. And then it's got this like flat here with a second pocket. Oh, I haven't seen those before. Let me know down below if you know if there's like a keyword for those or if you know the story on these Levi's with that strange tag. We're definitely gonna get those. It looked like in really good shape. that we can actually do pretty good in the pants section. At least that's my theory is that it's been really warm here in Asheville the last week or so. Today's supposed to be in the 70s. So maybe that people aren't buying jeans as much so I can get some good stuff potentially. That's the theory. Got a sale rolled in a pair of Torrid jeans, I think sold for full price on Poshmark. Right behind, got a pair of Levi's 505s. Condition looks suspect. Oh, yeah, that's not the best kind of wear right there. Distressing, missing the tag. I'm gonna go ahead and just pass on those. Those would probably sell, but a condition like that I have to wait on it. Some uh, towards the towards the end of the rack magic maybe. I see some corduroys coming up. What are those? Nothing. Hollister corduroys were good. Those are in rough shape anyway. Look like some Wranglers. Yep. All these jeans will be $4.99. All the shirts are $4.99, by the way, too. Haven't gone over the pricing yet. Chia Curves, looks like women's jeans. I don't know anything about those. All right, well, really not that much in the pants. What do we get? Maybe on a pair of Sazingers, maybe on a pair of Bonobos, and definitely yes on these, these Levi's, modern Levi's, big size.
pretty bummed out about the fact that they don't have really much at all for the suits and blazers. Good brands, bad condition. Kabu is an outdoor brand, something you might find at REI. Maybe this is our hot rack. So this is technically in the small section. The medium start over there. There we go, small. So we're gonna have to be more selective in men's small. These are the hardest cells. Looking for bigger sizes in men's. Doesn't mean we won't pick up some smalls, but we're just not gonna pick up like very normal L.L. Bean smalls that have low resale value anyway, they're kind of borderline. The borderline brands and small are going to move really bad. Some of the oldest items I have in inventory are, are kind of mediocre brand smalls. And of course, like material matters and style and pattern matters. So again, we're looking for things that are more unique, that have lower supply and less competition. So I could still pick up a small and a mediocre brand as long as it was very unique. There's an Orvis shirt. Been doing pretty good with Orvis lately. This is a time of year where people like Orvis. Orvis being like a fishing and outdoors brand. This is a women's shirt. Women's size 10, wrinkle free. It's just very plain, very basic. I'm gonna pass on it. That was like a polyester fishing style shirt. I probably would pick it up, but just like yeah. cotton, plain shirt. Really not much going on there. No pony on this Ralph Warren, so it's an auto pass for me. There's exceptions to every rule, but that's pretty unilateral there. Look at that Tesla. It's like a no-name performance shirt. So now we're into the medium. Same thing, we're gonna be selective in mediums. My guess is that we don't find anything that meets our criteria. It's a weird shirt. Let's have my chat to talk to you here. good brand mountain khaki but this isn't just like kind of standard because it's got the flannel it shows a little bit of pilling i might pick it up anyway it's a size medium which isn't great that's a minus one in terms of size but the flannel is a plus one mountain khaki is a decent brand the condition i don't know that condition's pretty pilly i think i'm good on it i'm gonna pass i just don't have much in the cart whoa I don't have much in the card. I get a little bit desperate sometimes. I'm gonna fight that urge because we're gonna go ahead and pick up this. So this will probably be the find of the day regardless of what comes next. High-end outdoor brand, Filson. This feels like it's a, like a polyester blend shirt. It's a size medium, which isn't great, but Filson, not that big of a deal because it's such a 
such a sought after brand. Come on, materials tag. All right. 53% polyester, 47 nylon. Nice. So nice lightweight hiking, trekking, travel shirt. It's vented in the back. Freaking awesome find. Yes, let's go. All right, maybe the tides are turning. Maybe the tides are turning. Shout out to the guy who's whistling and singing the songs while he shops by himself. Dude is dominating. All right, where's my car at? I was just gonna run over that dude with that car. No play in his game. Did I do this rack already? Yeah, we went through this rack. Sometimes I forget. So these are the mediums again. We're going to be really selective here. We're hoping for some really good golf polos, maybe a Peter Mar, maybe some RLX. <laughs> Some interesting cats in here today, I'll tell you. Some interesting conversations going on. Part of the experience. Some LLB in women's. Short sleeve. I'm going to pass on that. Borderline pickup. Probably some money to be made there, but... Really selective with LL Bean at this point. Mm -hmm. Oh, here we go. Tori Richard, silk two, size medium. So the medium is definitely a minus one, but 100% silk is what you're looking for in this brand. There's other things you can pick up in Tori Richard. You're also looking for like big, bold patterns. So this is a made in Honolulu brand. One of my favorite Hawaiian shirts brands to pick up. Just check on the buttons, they're all there. Nice find there. Happy about that. Maybe the tides are turning. Move my card a little bit closer here. So nice find there. Between that Filson and that Tory, I'm feeling some positive waves coming our direction. Short sleeves seem a little bit better stocked in the long sleeves. Although that's still a lot of room here. This is a Jane Barnes. Um, this is a good brand, especially these older tags do well, but this I don't think, well, it's a silk blend. It's a silk blend, it's a size medium though. It's showing some wear on the collar. What I like in these is the really like abstract, like bold patterns, um, just really kind of funky stuff. I find the plainer it is in this brand, it doesn't do as well. I'm gonna pass on this one. A lot of them you'll have like a silk blend or something. What I'm looking more for is like a long sleeve button down shirt. Funky pattern, those typically do well. Oh man, everything's falling today. What do we got here? Nike piece. Oh, it's like a modified sleeveless. Come on. Looks like someone cut off the sleeves and I don't know what that logo is. This 
seven logo. Anyway, sleeves cut off. We're good on that. The custom job. Pull Ralph Lauren. Pick up a lot of these. I usually pass on medium, even though that's a nice like springtime colorway. I'm still gonna pass on it because of the medium. If that was three bucks, it might be a different story, but it's it's five, so that was an XL, it's in the cart. Same with this. That's an XL, it's in the cart. Brooks Brothers performance polo sell really well for me this time of year. Would looking for definitely to have the logo on the chest on those. But bigger sizes. Smallers haven't moved as well for me. You could get away with it this time of year though. This is the time of year where the mediocre stuff in your inventory, the spring stuff starts to sell a little better. Spring, summer, mediocre. It might have sat all winter, but now is the time where you can move some of that stuff. Especially if you adjust your prices and price stuff to move. Just having my chat in here would be way more fun. I'm still having fun, don't get me wrong. But it's way more fun with a bunch of your friends in here. Kind of a cool Nike piece. Smaller size, not much value there on a t-shirt. Same thing here, I'll pick up some Levi's with the pearl snaps, but I'm going to pass on the size small. Guess we're into the smalls now. So as the size gets smaller, you just got to be a little bit more picky and selective because your sell-through rate goes down. Some interesting conversations happening. So this was where all the jackets are. They replaced them with t-shirts. I'd rather the jackets, but I know why they've changed the t-shirts because the jackets will have a hard time selling. I heard all the time over there. But I buy jackets year round, but just the good ones. Cool. More short sleeves. Boy, this rack is tight. There it is. Asheville. By the way, you might have noticed this. There is like, there's going to be like a hundred of these shirts here. I wonder how long, like how many lives we're going to have where we still see those shirts. I bet you we still see some of those. 2024, some of those bright orange bond downs. There's another one, another Tory. So this one looks like it's linen. Feels like linen. All the buttons are here. 100% linen, size XL. Boom. Love it. Great find. Let's see if I can get to my cart. Good sign. Pull Ralph Warren. That's ratty. Passed on that last week too. There's an Allen Flusser. Oh, 
I'll just show the tags, everything's so tight here. second half of that rack once that clears out let's see what i've missed i think i got all this stuff all this all this all this got all this we'll take a quick spin through hard goods So that's it, that's a wrap. Um, not a lot, as much action today as I was really hoping for, but we got some good stuff in here. Do have a CC Filson, a couple of Tory Richards, and I wanna say maybe about 10 or 12 total items. I'm gonna go through all these right now. And yeah, I'm, when I get home, I'm gonna put sold comps up on the screen to help with the education process of all this so you can see what the value is of the items I'm picking up. Yeah, thanks for joining again for today. I, I appreciate all the support on the YouTube channel and those of you who support Double Dip on TikTok and Instagram and Facebook and all of that. Appreciate all of you. Yeah, wishing everybody a good day. Good luck.